postman came calling this morning with a few things I've been waiting for. Don't you just love the, it when stuff gets held up in the post? There's quite a bit here, so I'm going to go through it. And as you can see, there's no staging with this at all. It's all still sealed up and everything. So I, in truth, have a clue, and I can't remember exactly what all this is that uh, has come through. So reaction cam on the go. But now I'm going to get it all uh, undone. We'll see what uh, has arrived. I did check and they are all for me, so <laughs> shouldn't be any other surprises. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open these one at a time just to make it a little bit easier rather than having a great big pile of stuff up on here. So, trusty Stanley, of course, and uh, making sure that I don't uh, carve myself up. God, that's been uh, well packed, hasn't it? Oh. Oh. We're in, sorted. Load of um, packaging. Oh, safety first. Let's just put that down there for, for now. Goodness me. Ah. Yeah. Nothing else in there. We have bubble wrap. Hey. Never seen one of them before. That is a Brightall E92. You know it is because it says it on the top there. Anybody who's got a socket set, or particularly old socket set, will know what these is instantly. If you don't, I'll tell you, it's what's called a stud remover. They're pretty rare, and you're doing well to find one, especially a genuine bright tool one. I ordered that some time ago. It's taken a phenomenal amount of time to come here, but hey-ho, you know, we have had uh, Christmas. But yeah, been after one of those for a while, so that's the E92 uh, stud remover. Put that out of the way. Fine, yeah, let's leave it in shot. Make, make the video nice. Another jiffy bag. This is where you see me being mean and keeping jiffy bags for when I send stuff out, but you know, we've all got to do a bit of recycling, haven't we? Hey, now, there's a story behind this, but anyway, that is a bright tool EB1125 otherwise known as an, a 1 1 8th AF socket. Not a bad nick either. Bit of a clean. I was after a few extra sockets for a socket set so I've had to order these and find them, bid on them, all that sort of stuff but uh, obviously I bought it so I'm happy with the price I paid and I can't remember what I paid for it but it wouldn't have been more than a 2 or 3 pounds which biggest problem is half the time it's shipping shipping, postage, all that, but it is what it is, so we'll have that down on there, so that's the 118, find another easy one to open, another jiffy bag, I think this one's been reused already actually, for the look of it, it has, it has somebody else's doing what I'm doing, reusing jiffy bags, I love it, we have bubble wrap though, Another socket. Ah, more bubble wrap. Brightall EB1250, aka a one and one quarter inch AF. I so say that one was an AF as well. That's not in too bad condition, is it? Bit of a clean. Happy days. Another socket. I'm going to go for a box this time, I think, to make things a little bit uh, more interesting. So I'll try not to slice myself up while I do it. There we go. Right, we have a box, which is good. I could have edited this so you were uh, you're only seeing. when it was open but I thought it's more fun to watch me struggle isn't it oh my goodness me I know people pack stuff tight but my goodness me they don't appreciate they're going to have to be a bit abusive with this now there we go ah I remember ordering these 
set of drill bits. More bubble wrap. I couldn't see clearly exactly what they were, and that's always a good sign when you're buying something online, isn't it? I just saw the HSS drill bits. It's for price. CV twist drill bits. Oh, made in West Germany. West Germany. Oh, that's nice. How nice is that? Even bubble wrapped inside. That's somebody who cares when they buy stuff, when they sell stuff. That's somebody who really cares, isn't it? How nice is that? I'll have to leave them a good comment. There you go. All of the drill bits. Maybe not the original ones, but ranging from one and a half uh, mil up to six and a half mil, and they actually look pretty good. Maybe not the ones that actually originally came with it. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I might have a look at all these off camera, but how good's the focus on this? Probably you won't be able to see that, but it does say West Germany on there. So that one's at least original. Any other? Any of the others original? Does it matter? Probably not. Won't see on these tiny little ones anyway. They don't look. But oh well. At least at least we know the ones uh, genuine. And HSS are always useful. So I'll put that on there out of the way. And on to the next one. Right. Another massive big packed item. Oh, there. Nothing in there. More bubble wrap. I love it. Ah, you ever seen one of these before? A Brightall E67. You know what one of these is? It's a ratchet. But it's a ratchet that's designed to go onto a, a, a standard bar, half inch bar, so like a breaker bar. And that, oh, how, how quiet that is that. And judging by the grease on it, somebody has looked after that. These are really difficult to find. So I'm happy with that. E67. Another smaller packet. Another Jiffy bag. You tell our Jiffy bags. Something wrong with me, isn't there? Ah. Just by feel. 1116. No, I looked. Don't try and lie to you. 1062. That's uh, I beg your pardon, it's not an 1116. Show myself up. Need new glasses. I was trying to be clever then, it didn't really work, did it? It backfired. But uh, it's another AF that uh, I'd be waiting for. Now that completes my, uh, my set of AFs, that does. So I'm really happy with that. As anybody who owns uh, an AF socket set will know, there's nothing worse than having sockets missing, even if you don't generally use them all the time. I love this cellar. Nice big jiffy bags. Look at that. Big jiffy bag for a tiny little item. Nothing in that bit. If you're still with us, guys, thank you. There's the 1116. I've got a good memory, haven't I? I remember I'd ordered one of them. That's uh, 1116 Whitworth. I didn't see all the pitting, no. Not the pitting. Um, chrome coming off. I didn't see that. But I'm not bothered. I'm not bothered at all. That's fine. The edge is good. It's just a bit of wear. Not the end of the world. Happy days. The weight of these things. God, some of these old sockets and the proper made in England ones. I really, really that weighs probably more than my one of my small socket sets, you know, little cheap and cheerful ones. 
Where did I get that one from? It's just as well as nothing on telly, isn't there? Well, you lot have been bought and... Wait a minute. Result. I'm sure there was an easy way of doing that. Hey, we have a... We can see it's a spanner. There you go. Don't switch off. <laughs> One spanner and a socket. Goodness me. 21mm socket. Been after one for ages. <laughs> now you notice this is one of the slight, slightly um, later bright tools, I think. The old ones were slightly slightly different. Different finish. And then you get the more even more modern ones that uh, don't say uh, made in England on they just say bright all England how things change god that's not even is that being used what do you reckon a couple of three times lovely condition and a spanner we have combination spanner bright all 24 mil not in bad nick. These are all going to have a bit of wear on them, but I'm not fussed. Not going to be too aggressive with this. Give a bit of a polish up. Be absolutely fine. So there we have the uh, the items I've been waiting uh, for. I was I'd given up hope on some of them to be honest. I really really hoped. I think it was this one and uh, the little 21 mil. So all it so long ago. I think it was before Christmas, and I messaged the guy and said. You know what, if you want to delay posting until after the Christmas rush, then that's absolutely fine. And I, I didn't think it would take that long to, to get here. Um, those are nice, them uh, little twist drills. And of course, you, the, uh, the E92 and the E67 ratchet. I've been after that for ages. Just got lucky. And then the replacement uh, sockets for ones that were missing. So I'm going to get these things packed up and get all the uh, the packaging squared away and in the bin. And there we have it. So yeah, hope you uh, hope you like the video. And uh, if you have, if you want to give me a like, you're more than welcome. And while we're there, you can put a comment down there. Um, I guess uh, I'll see you on the next video. So until next time, thanks very much for watching. Bye for now. God. <laughs> Missed. This video might be just one of uh, me struggling with um, packaging. Well, Pat, I can't even get in the chuffing thing.